how do we see supply chains changing in 2021? Um, what are kind of your big picture predictions? Sarah, let's go ahead and start with you. Yeah, well, um, I think as I run this webinar from my family room, um, I think that we're gonna be working remotely for some time still. Um, and so all of the adjustments that we had to make last year will, will continue to, to, um, to be a reality for us um, throughout the most of this year. And so what does that mean? You know, as you know, we, we focus on supplier performance. We think that's like one of the most important pieces of overall supply chain performance. And so we see organizations that, that have leaned into the opportunity that these moments of massive disruption create, we see them leaning into data-driven assessments. Um, and so that, that, for example, the traditional QBR that's driven through anecdotal um, or ad hoc sort of means will become a thing of the past. I think the executives that Laura talked about, I think um, organizations that are, that are not wanting to miss the opportunity if their businesses are growing quickly are going to demand um, more access to visibility and, and information so they can make smarter decisions about their business. And all of that's possible. I mean, you can have data-driven supplier scorecards. You can rank suppliers' performance against their on-time delivery. If, if you don't today, if you can't answer the question, which are my top performing suppliers and which are my bottom performing suppliers, th that's a miss. You should, you, it's knowable in the year 2021. And um, we have lots of customers, dozens that, that are doing that now. So, so our prediction is that our primary prediction is that people are going to um, ditch status quo once and for all and move forward and modernize how they manage performance with their suppliers. 